Hello everybody and welcome back to Until Dawn Chapter 1 or Episode 3. <clears throat> this is um This is a decently Hello timed episode, so Someone it's there? not super duper long but super duper short either. So I plan on getting through most of it. Check the gate. Splashing. Gates bust and climb over Chris. Wait, what is that? From Josh? Washington. I couldn't read all that. If you really want to. Oh, um, Jesus, never mind. Hold on. I bet you there's a options. No. Uh. Well, I can't read it. Not cool. Quick. I might have been playing this earlier. Yeah. I played it quite a few times. I like a red skirt, it looks very nice. Okay, I'll just walk over. And then... Okay. Don't move. You hungry? Don't move. Huh? <laughs> I um actually have to on the table don't because um <clears throat> I'm not good at not moving. It shows you a little vision. What's going on? So I need to not hit the bird. A guidance totem. I don't really need the tutorial. Um, I don't know why I haven't. Because I've played this quite a few times. I knew how to read my tour. Chris? Are you here? The bag's here. Where are you? You're not in the bag, are you? Do not be nosy. Maybe I should look for that kind of stuff. Chris? Sam, hey, you made it. Oh, so I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not going to tell you. You got to see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Where? Right around here. Going to blow your mind.
What's this? Oh man, look at this. Wanted. Oh. Milgram Victor. Male. Yeah, height. 6'2. Otherwise known like as 1.88 oh, meters. Last known address. Blackwood Pines. Last seen. The 16th of March, 1998. Wanted for with first degree arson offense as well as various death threats anyone with information regarding <sighs> this dangerous criminal should be should contact the BPMC as soon as possible Blackwood provincial mounted Colesbury police Monte Portel the Blackwood night June 1998 <clears throat> okay then. Ta-da! Pretty rad, right? Yeah! Come on, look at these beauties. Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? W what the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of a ski lodge? Uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? Uh, now you go ahead, Grizzly. All right, here goes. Okay, that's a pretty good shoot. I think so, girl. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. Do not shoot the squirrel. <laughs> nice shot. Your ass just got sacked. <sighs> Hey, sharpshooter, a ride's coming. Wait, I'm just getting the hang of this. Come on, Chris, the cable car. It's not that fast, girl. So, I want to see what's happened so far. Sam, my relationship with Sam has increased so um also Sam respected Chris's privacy Chris was happy to see Sam Chris chose not to shoot the squirrel nature remain remained in balance hmm Definitely weird coming back I like the foot the foot here. sounds. Yeah, they sound really cool. Okay. But the um came flooding back. The actual it images the footprints, they're way too big. Way too big and not circular. They're like the wrong shape. Because yeah, they're a perfect Doors circle. Locked. Yeah. And feet are not perfect circles. Josh wanted us to keep it locked. Keep people out. He said that? What people? I I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. No. For you. Oh, real gentleman. This girl's a little snooty, but I mean, she's pretty much the main character. It must be. If there was one, it'd be her. I I don't know how he keeps it all together. I mean, I'd be a wreck. Well, we're all just gonna have to keep an eye on him. Must be going through so much, and he seems. Blackwood Pines Hotel and Sanatorium for health, healthy body and mind. What a crazy place to set up house. I mean, no matter how rich you are. I'm not so rich. They only bought a mountain. That's a 
bathroom of the uh, cabin. Then see outside. Isn't it thing? Go by. It's like right here, girl. Like two seconds. Yeah. It's a beautiful <clears throat> day, but the night just feels menacing, like a <clears throat> sleeping giant. You're gonna publish? What? Your pretty poem. The Sleeping Giant of Blackwood Forest. Oh, shut up. Finally, you coming? Yeah, well, I was gonna stay here and catch some Z's, but okay. Just like going to adventure begins. Oh, I hope this was the right thing to do. What? You know, getting everyone together on the anniversary. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him. No, no, it was it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. <laughs> you know what? Let's just let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Uh, you know what? You're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Okay. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room. I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. A match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early, and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her training bra, I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. That is actually the theme of this, um, actual whole game. Is that one decision can change the whole game. The entire story. You know, like, multi like some people say... Multiverses. One decision spreads another multiverse. Each person's decision spreads another multiverse. Makes you feel pretty small, huh? Hm. Anyway, I am done for this episode, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.